there's a common misconception that exists with a lot of people, and this is that arrogance equates to confidence. Now, when you hear the term alpha male, you may think that the alpha male in any group is the one that is most dominant, the one that can throw his weight around, who is most superior, um, who calls the shots and the commands. And sometimes this might be the case. Maybe that person is the alpha. But generally, to me, what an alpha male is, is somebody who is confident. All right, now what's the difference between confidence and arrogance? Arrogance is confidence which exceeds one's competence, one's ability to do whatever. You know, if you've got good competence in something, you're able to do something well, and you're confident, sufficiently confident, because you're competent, then that is well-placed confidence. But if you, if you don't really know what you're talking about, you don't really know what you're doing, but you're acting like, you know, you're king shit and you know exactly what's going on and you deserve to call the shots, then that's being arrogant. You know, if you, if you judge somebody or judge a situation, but you're not really clued in, you don't have sufficient uh, knowledge, you know, then that's arrogant. You know, where your confidence exceeds your competence. Um, so, you know, a lot of people also mistake arrogance, you know, for being alpha male. He who can intimidate uh, those in the group the most, um, or can throw their weight around and then use their might to get their way. Uh, to be honest, a lot of the time, you know, this all actually stems from insecurity. People that feel the need to intimidate and, you know, just control other people and, and use volume and their physical presence in order to manipulate people or coerce people um, is actually coming from a place of insecurity. Whereas I would say an alpha male, a confident male, um, or female is just one who, like I said, is confident. Their confidence is well placed, and it's not from a place of insecurity, but they're actually secure in them in themselves. You know, to an extent, they know themselves and they've accepted themselves, and they're comfortable with themselves, and they they understand what they're good at, and they accept what they're not good at, and where their limits are. Um, you know, and I think this is the major difference, the major misconception, is that we have a lot of arrogant fools trying to stretch a mile things that, you know, ideas that they can only really run with for a meter, you know, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it that I think people need to start getting their head around. The fact that just because you can shout or intimidate a call of shots doesn't necessarily make you the alpha, um, but you know, feel comfortable and secure in yourself and confident and you understand your ability, you know, and you can assume the role. Top of the monitor, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. Um, but you know, everybody in their own right is an alpha male or an alpha female. If you change whatever the context is, the situation, you know, each situation calls for different things. You know, demands different qualities or abilities, skill sets. So really, it's about the backdrop. You know, it, that depend that determines how much you shine as a star. You know, in one backdrop, you, you might just sink into the background uh, and, you know, you're not really calling the shots at that point. But in another backdrop, you might be the brightest star there is and the alpha person for that job. So really, what you're competent in, everyone's competent in different things and everyone is differently confident in different situations. Sometimes we slip into alpha, sometimes we slip into what, better, whatever. But really, it's, it really comes down to just being honest and true and comfortable and knowing where you thrive and not trying to push yourself and this idea that you thrive in situations where you don't, but accepting that you can't be the best at everything, that you can't always call the shots. And sometimes there are other people that are more equipped than you and better for the job. And it's being comfortable with that as well. You know, it's, it's all well and good to give commands and expect people to listen to you all the time because you just know what's going on. But if you can't listen to other people and respect other people's points of view, um, yeah, then that's not really being an alpha male. That's being an alpha dick. That's all I got to say about that. Cheers for watching, guys. Talking with Phoenix. I'll catch you later.